Welcome to Black Entrepreneur Blueprint, the number one podcast and resource for black entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Jay Jones, and Black Entrepreneur Blueprint was created specifically to educate and inspire black entrepreneurs to launch, build, and grow successful, sustainable businesses. Join us as we help build an economic power base in the worldwide black community by building and supporting black owned businesses. If you're currently an entrepreneur or want to be an entrepreneur, you're invited to join us each and every week here at Black Entrepreneur Blueprint. Welcome to the BEB family and get ready to elevate your entrepreneur IQ. Welcome to the Black Entrepreneur Blueprint, episode number 501. I'm your host, Jay Jones, and today we have another outstanding and informative show in store for you. Today's show topic is how to make money in the creator economy. How to make money in the creator economy going from passion to profit. Now, everybody has heard about the creator economy. You see people on social media, these influencers making tons of money. But there's additional ways to make money from the creator economy by not even showing your face. So if you don't like to be on camera, if you don't like to talk, there are other ways to make money in the creator economy. And today we're gonna dissect and decode the whole creator economy. Now, before we get to today's content, I just wanna share a few things with the Black Entrepreneur Blueprint family. First and foremost, I wanna welcome all first time listeners to Black Entrepreneur Blueprint. Welcome to the BEB family. Please stick around until the end of today's broadcast and I'm going to share all my social media contact information and resource links such as the link to the new revised revamped BEB Academy. Make sure you go to newbebacademy.com for more information and to enroll. Now, if you don't know about BEB Academy, guys, it is our online learning portal that combines online group coaching once a month with me. We have all the online courses and resources that you need to elevate your entrepreneur IQ. And most importantly, it's a place where you can collaborate with other BEB family members and you can create deals, create partnerships and leverage that collaboration to build and grow your business. So go to newbebacademy.com. Looking forward to seeing you in the academy. Now, let's get ready for today's show content. Today, we're going to discuss and decode the creator economy. We're also going to talk about what the creator economy is, the projected growth, and how you can profit from it. And so let's start out about defining what the creator economy is. So the creator economy, or also known as influencer economy, is a software facilitated economy that allows content creators and influencers to earn revenue from their creations. I'm going to repeat that. The creator economy, or also known as influencer economy, is a software facilitated economy that allows content creators and influencers to earn revenue from their creations. Now, let's talk about the size of the creator economy and the projected growth, because this is something that's important when you start a new business or new venture. You want to understand the layout of what you're getting into. So let's talk about the size and projected growth. Now, I'm going to read this uh, couple of article uh, excerpts so you guys can understand where it is and where it's projected to go. According to a December 2023 article in Forbes magazine, the creator economy is still in the early stages, but it's growing rapidly. In 2021, the creator economy was valued at $104 billion, with a B, and is projected to reach nearly half a trillion by December 2027. So in 2021, it was $104 billion, and it's projected to reach nearly half a trillion, which is $500 billion, by December of 2027. Now that's from Forbes magazine. Now let's look at an article from uh, Goldman Sachs research. Now in April 19th of 2023, Goldman Sachs research expects the 50 million global creators to grow at a 10 to 20% compound annual growth rate during the next five years. Now understanding the scale of the creator economy is vital. It's not just a niche industry. It's a global phenomenon 
with colossal user and revenue base. According to a report by Goldman Sachs, the creator economy could roughly double size over the next five years to $480 billion by 2027, from $250 billion today. So those numbers are pretty much the same as what Forbes was saying, close to $500 billion by 2027. This projection underscores the immense opportunities it presents for brands and marketers. Okay, so you guys understand where the creator economy is and where it's going. I also want to share this article by HubSpot uh, real quick. So it says currently valued at $250 billion. The creator economy is expected to reach $480 billion by 2028. So this growth is fueled by increased cash flow from brands and higher demand for content. So brands are asking for it and there's higher demand for content. So you see between uh, Goldman Sachs, Forbes and HubSpot, the numbers are about $500 billion by 2027 or 2028. Also, by, uh, per a recent study, 44% of advertisers plan to increase spend with content creators in 2024. Brands anticipate increasing creator content budgets by 25% in 2024, and 39% of consumers watch more content now than the year prior. Creator content is no longer just a top of funnel play in 2024. A well-rounded marketing strategy has content embedded throughout the strong relationships with creators that's essential to making these strategies work. So as you see, marketers are going to spend more money with content creators. So you see there's a rise in people consuming this content and the marketers understand that. So they're going to start throwing more dollars, advertising dollars in that area. Now, before we jump into discussing the different platforms and also how to grow your audience and monetize, let's talk about the predictions uh, for 2024. So this is something you want to pay attention to because you want to be in front of the curve. Now, it says the growth of YouTube shorts. So YouTube launched shorts, which is a short form video feature worldwide in 2021. Two years later, shorts continues to grow. In February, it crossed 50 billion daily views and rolled out a revenue share program for creators who share video on shorts. While shorts haven't yet matched reels, which garnered 200 billion views daily across Instagram and Facebook, the feature still has a lot of untapped potential for marketers. YouTube is a powerful search engine with a large global user base. Pew just released research stating that Gen Z now spends more time on YouTube than TikTok each day. With this in mind, the potential to get in front of a large audience by creating SEO-rich short-form videos is high. Additionally, as creators look to diversify their presence on platforms, many will likely repurpose their content on shorts to get in front of new audiences. This could generate additional engagement on shorts that is appealing to marketers. Now, here's what I want to tell you guys about YouTube Shorts. So, you know, YouTube is the number two search engine out there. YouTube Shorts, guys, and I have inside information because my oldest daughter works at YouTube Shorts. So she's giving me the heads up on everything. If you don't know, YouTube Shorts was created to uh, go against Instagram Reels and TikTok. Now, one of the things about YouTube Shorts is the monetization for creators on YouTube and YouTube Shorts is way better than it is on Instagram and TikTok. So if you build up your following on YouTube, you see all these big YouTube channels like Mr. Beast and people that are making millions of dollars. And we're going to talk about that a little later when we get to the platforms. But YouTube Shorts is in a serious growth mode. So make sure when you create your content, if this is something you're looking to do, that you include YouTube Shorts. Because I'm telling you guys right now, according to my daughter who works there and is in the creative side of that, she works with a lot of influencers, getting them on the platform and helping getting them paid. YouTube Shorts has the bandwidth. It has obviously YouTube and it has the resources to continue to grow. So don't sleep on YouTube Shorts. OK, so right now, once again, it doesn't match Instagram Reels. 
and it doesn't match TikTok in the number of views. But trust me, the monetization is there and also it's coming. And YouTube isn't going anywhere. So don't sleep on that. So you guys pretty much have the landscape of the creator economy and the projections of what's going to go on in the future. Now, let's talk about some of the different platforms that the creator economy has and how you can utilize these different platforms. And I'm just going to go over a few of them. There's tons of them out there. First, I want to start with social media. And the biggest ones out there are Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and obviously YouTube Shorts. So they're at the forefront, guys, of the creator economy. So you see all these TikTok stars out there. Uh, unfortunately, they're not able to monetize like YouTube, but these are the major social media platforms. And we're going to talk about these platforms more in depth and the monetization of them. So you have social media as a platform. You have podcasts like this, Black Entrepreneur Blueprint. Podcasts right now, they're a very powerful medium for creators to share their stories. So once again, with BEB, I share the highs and the lows of my experiences and I want to give you guys game to help you elevate your entrepreneur IQ. So that's another platform. Patreon. So Patreon is Patreon is a platform that allows creators to generate income by offering exclusive content and experience to their most dedicated fans. So Patreon is where you pay for certain experiences and also specific content. So that's another platform. Now, if you're in the newsletter space, you're probably familiar with Substack. Substack has uh, basically revolutionized the world of newsletters, guys, and written content. So creators, including journalists, you find a lot of journalists, writers, and thought leaders use Substack to reach subscriptions or create subscribers directly for their newsletter or their writing. So if you have a newsletter that you want to get paid for, you can use Substack as a platform. The drawback with Substack is that you're on Substack's platform and Substack's monetization. So now you'll have like Black Entrepreneur Blueprint forward slash Substack or whatever. You're on a, 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 a co-domain. And so it's not specifically yours. So if you want to create a newsletter, which is a great uh, platform, you can create one and do it paid outside of Substack. But Substack is where people go to search for newsletters and they know that they're paid subscription newsletters. So it's like a marketplace for newsletters. So that's big. Once again, you can also create your own newsletter and do a paid subscription. So it's almost like I would uh, say Amazon. You can sell your product on your own website or you can sell your product on Amazon. Amazon is a marketplace and that's how Substack is. So you have a lot of searchability when you go to Substack. And the last one is Twitch, which is a live streaming platform. And it's really like a hub for gamers and stuff like that. So Twitch. So we're looking at social media, which basically is Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Twitter. Also, you have podcasts, Patreon, Substack, your own newsletter and Twitch. And these are some of the platforms right now that people in the creator economy are using to, to really build their, their content and to build their revenue. One thing I want to bring to your attention is that this is a beautiful time if you're a creator. I mean, you can literally reach millions of people for free with social media and be able to get paid for your content, turning your passion into profit. I always talk about that. But let's talk about a little more in depth some of the platforms that I just spoke about. Number one, Instagram. So Instagram is great, obviously, for short content and especially reels. Now, Instagram is really promoting reels, or which, which are their, their 60 second or up to 60 second videos because they're trying to compete with TikTok. So if you're doing Instagram and you're in the creator economy and you're trying to build a following on Instagram, make sure that you implement reels. Reels are, that's what they're pushing right now. So you got to do reels. When it comes to YouTube, now remember there's YouTube and YouTube Shorts. So YouTube is great for longer form content over a minute. So you see a lot of video podcasts. You see a lot of all types of different content on YouTube. How to, how to fix something, how to do something. Got gossip. You got all types of stuff on YouTube, which is great for long form content. Now, many people that are successful on YouTube, 
don't have one hour shows, you know, 90 minute shows that go straight through. A lot of people actually chop up their clips because they know what happens is the attention span of the American public is super short. So if you're familiar with Vlad TV, so Vlad uh, was a DJ and he does all these interviews with with, you know, R&B, hip hop artists, pop culture people, mostly in the in the black culture. And most of his clips are broken down into, say, six to eight minute clips. And he has 20, 30, 50 of them coming out a day. But it all goes back to Vlad TV. So YouTube is great for longer content over a minute, but you don't want to make the content super long because people are going to drop off. Now we're going to talk about YouTube shorts. And I talked about that earlier. That's designed to compete with TikTok and Instagram reels. So YouTube shorts are the short 60 second or less videos that are growing and growing by storm. So make sure you don't sleep on that. TikTok, once again, short video content skews toward a little younger audience than YouTube shorts and Instagram. Now, it's funny, a lot of TikTokers are complaining because they're getting tons of views and the monetization is not there for them. So one of the things that my daughter who works at YouTube shorts uh, keeps telling me is that a lot of people that are on TikTok are migrating a lot of their content over to YouTube shorts because they can make more money. And let's not sleep on Twitter, guys. Uh, Twitter is a great platform too. Twitter is geared more toward a mature audience. Uh, you got video and comments are most popular on there. So you'll see a lot of thought leaders on Twitter and they have a, a, a very big brand on Twitter. I'm not going to leave out Facebook, but that's excuse to the older and the mature audience. So it's more uh, in the background right now. Facebook was was obviously the front runner years ago. But now it's being overtaken, you know, Facebook and Instagram are owned by Meta, same company. But really, uh, when you look at it, that's not at the forefront right now, especially for the younger demographic. It's more for the older demographic. So you're looking at Instagram, YouTube, YouTube Shorts, TikTok and Twitter are usually your biggest platforms. Now, let's talk about as a creator, how do you grow your audience? How do you grow your audience? The first thing you want to do, guys, is identify an audience. And this is going to also come into play when it comes to monetization. You want to identify an audience. And then what you do as a creator, you create the content that's going to attract that avatar. So if you're in the crockpots, you may create a Facebook page or an Instagram page about crockpots. And you have all types of recipes, different crockpots or whatever. There's one uh, Instagram page I look at all the time called Over the Fire Cooking, where he's doing these quick, you know, Instagram reels less than a minute about how to cook steaks, how to cook all types of stuff. And, and it's amazing. And he has hundreds of thousands of followers. So how do you grow your audience? So the first thing you do is you determine who you're looking to speak to. What is your niche? OK, the second thing that you do, guys, is you have to create good quality content. All right. Good quality content. What is something that's going to interest your audience and it's going to keep their attention? And the way things go viral, guys, and I'm going to speak to Instagram. They focus on right now, number one reels, but they focus on likes and shares. They focus on likes and shares. So if you have an Instagram reel that gets shared a lot. Trust me, that's going to get more virality than something that doesn't. So you want to focus on things that are impactful, that are going to get shared. So it's likes and shares. Those are the two biggest things. Saves are also important, like shares and saves. And so that's what you want to focus on, something that can be shared that can go viral. OK, and we're talking about how to grow your audience right now. But the overall concept, guys, is how to make money in the creator economy. We talked about the platforms. Now we're talking about how to grow your audience. So we talked about developing a niche, posting content, quality content in that niche. And the next thing is, and this sounds kind of daunting, according to many experts, you want to post three to five times per day consistently, three to five times per day consistently. And I know a lot of you are saying, oh man, I ain't got enough time. I don't have enough content. 
but we're going to talk about that. So the first thing you want to do is you want to understand that there's scheduling tools for social media. So some of the most popular ones are Hootsuite, H-O-O-T-S-U-I-T-E. Also, guys, you can find this content or this information if you can't write it down in the show notes. So go to blackentrepreneurblueprint.com. You'll see a list of the shows right in the top portion of the page. Hit episode 501 and all of this content will be in there. So in terms of your, excuse me, scheduling your posts, you have uh, platforms like Hootsuite, Loomly, L-O-O-M-L-Y, Loomly, and Sprout Social that you can pre-schedule all of your social media posts, be it on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Shorts, TikTok, Twitter, whatever. So that's the way that you can do it. Now, the question you probably say, hey, Jay, damn, how am I going to do three to five posts a day? So if I do five posts a day for 30 days a month, that's 150 posts. So what you can do, guys, is you can actually go uh, to platforms like Upwork and also Fiverr.com and you can look for somebody to create. I need 150 posts based on this theme that are viral or can go viral. OK, so you actually can find people that will do it. They're, they're people on Fiverr that do packages like this all the time. Instagram posts or social media post packages. Now, you can also go to Upwork. Now, here's something that a lot of guys do when they're when they're posting social stuff. They'll rip stuff or take stuff from TikTok that has gone viral and you actually can download it and post it on your own Instagram site. So if it went viral on TikTok, it may go viral on Instagram. So there are a lot of tools out there that you can use to find viral content, download the content and repost that content on your pages. And we're not going to get into that today because this episode would be an hour and a half long. I'm probably going to do a tech episode to talk about the tools that you can use to do this. Okay, so these are how you grow your social media platform. And I always talk about platforms, guys. And like I said, podcasting is my platform. I'm in the audio podcast platform. Now, obviously, the show does come out on YouTube, but my thing is audio. That's my platform. So when you build a platform, guys, you have to understand that that platform is an audience that's going to respond to you if they like your stuff. So when I come out with new online courses or different programs, Number one is because the BEB family keeps asking for it. They'll tell me via DM, people reach out to me, email me, hey man, you need to do this course or do that, and then I respond. And so I'm able to do that without having to spend money because I built a platform with Black Entrepreneur Blueprint where we have over 100,000 downloads per episode. So that platform was built over 10 years. And one of the things I wanna tell you guys too is, Platforms aren't built overnight. So this is a long game, right? I'm going to give you some examples of some Instagram pages and some other platforms that have millions and millions of followers, but it didn't happen overnight. So recognize and understand that. Let me just give you an example of the power of a platform. So BEB, when I come out with a new program, new course or whatever, I have an audience that I know wants that product or service. So I'm not spending money to try to get new people to buy it. The platform is where everything is. So you have to have a platform. So I'm working on a platform right now uh, that I'm building on Instagram, which is a, a, a health and not beauty, but a health and I guess you could call it a health niche. And so once I build this platform up on Instagram, I'll be able to sell products and and services and different things in that niche to monetize it. And we're going to talk about the monetization strategies in a minute, but I'm able to do that with a platform. So how many of you right now have a product or service, but don't have anybody to sell it to? The problem is you don't have a platform. Okay. So if you have a platform, you have that audience. Now you can all sell it by paying advertising, So if you have a product and you start advertising it on social media or wherever you want to advertise it, there's a cost involved in that, right? So if the cost is more than you're making, guess what? You're losing money, right? 
But if you have a platform that's already built up, this podcast, it's not free to do the podcast, but it doesn't take a lot of money. It takes time and, and, and some resources. But I have a platform now that I can offer products and or services to the BEB audience. So I keep telling people it's about building a platform. And once you build a platform, you can sell anything. And remember, guys, we're talking about how to make money in the creator economy and you can actually create profit from your passion. And I'm going to give you some examples. So we talked about the platforms. I just talked about how to grow your audience. Now, let's talk about the monetization strategies. Now, if you've listened to the show for any period of time, you guys know there are only six type of things that you can sell. I don't care what anybody else tells you. If you don't listen to anything from Jay Jones, listen to this, hear me, and understand me. There's only six things you can sell. Your physical products, your digital products, your services. Somebody else's physical products, somebody else's digital products, and somebody else's services. That's it. Point blank done fini that's a wrap okay so when you look to monetize these are the only six type of things you can monetize all right so let's talk about some of the monetization strategies of successful platforms and successful uh content creators i'm sure everybody listening has heard of the shade room right now my it's funny my oldest daughter uh went to school with the sister of the young lady that started the shade room and they're great friends okay one of the things the shade room makes money from is by their shout outs right so the shade room does millions upon millions of dollars per year and one of their biggest ways to generate re, uh, revenue is by doing posts for people so at the last i think it was sixty five hundred dollars six thousand five hundred dollars to do a post in the shade room it might be more now so just imagine if they're doing two or three of those a day that's about it's just say three a day that's about nineteen thousand five hundred say twenty grand a day seven days a week right 365 days a year and that's just one way they're making revenue now the shade room has millions and millions of followers okay so you can monetize by doing posts all right now, the other way to monetize, and let's, let's go back to the six ways you can make money, and we'll just use a, a fictitious platform on Instagram that has a million followers. So say that that niche is, is puppies or dogs. So if you want to sell a physical product in that niche, you could sell dog collars, you could sell dog beds, you could, you know, those are physical products that you create. A digital product that you create could be a video tutorial on how to train a dog. So we talked about selling your physical products, which are the dog beds or the uh, dog collars. The digital products are the how to train a dog video. The services could be a grooming service. All right. So those are the first three things. Your physical products, your digital products, your services. Now. If you want to sell somebody else's physical products, say you're not the manufacturer of the dog collar, but you have a, an affiliate relationship with somebody that does sell dog collars. So every dog collar you sell that costs thirty dollars, you get fifteen dollars from that's selling somebody else's physical product. Now, you can sell somebody else's digital product. So say there's a product out there on how to uh how to brush your dog's teeth i'm just making this up on the fly that somebody else created you can become an affiliate for that now how do you sell a service that you don't create somebody else's services you can market somebody else's uh mobile dog wash you know that can be a way you can generate money those are six different ways that you can generate money from your platform okay so these are monetization strategies for content creators. And I literally just made that one up on the fly. But you want to look at certain niches that are very popular. Uh, relationships, health, and money. Relationships, health, and money. Those are the top three different categories that people are making money with in this content creation or creator economy. Okay. 
So I gave you an example of the shade room, right? Let me give you this something super simple, and this is insane, guys. There's a guy on uh, Instagram called The Smoothie Guy. The Smoothie Guy. And all he does is post videos about smoothies and how to make smoothies. He has 975,000 followers. 975,000 followers. You click the link in the bio and he's selling something. And I think one of them is recipes and there's all types of other stuff. So when you go through Instagram right now and you start looking at these big pages, they're called theme pages, Instagram theme pages, because there's not a face on it. It's not a personal page. It's about a niche. It's about a theme. Okay. The shade room is about gossip, right? The smoothie guy is about smoothie. There's another page called Wealth. I think they have 9 million followers. Wealth is about entrepreneurship, business, making money. Okay? But you have to understand that that platform is allowing them to make money. So, there's another one called Human's Best Friend. It's about dogs. 275,000 followers on Instagram. Click the link. There's stuff that you can buy. That's how the monetization strategies work. And I'm going to give you a couple of different strategies to how to make money with your platform or in the creator economy. So uh, you have paid advertising. I gave you that example with the shade room. People pay to get posted. All right. You also have partnerships. So if you have a large following, you can have people or companies reach out to you to do a partnership. All right. So you'll see that with a lot of the stars out there. Very, uh, you know, the big influencers, they're a partner with Fashion Nova. They're partnered with different companies to make money. You also have affiliate marketing. So say you have a following, like I said, in the pet niche, you may not produce a product, but you can start selling somebody else's affiliate products. Two of the biggest affiliate networks are ClickBank, C-L-I-C-K-B-A-N-K, and also Digistore24, D-I-G-I-S-T-O-R-E 24, just Google it. And they have all types of affiliate products that you can sell. So if you're in the fitness niche, you see a lot of people on Instagram and YouTube, they have fitness channels. So if they don't have a product themselves, they can actually sell an affiliate product, okay? So that's another way to monetize, all right? So we're talking about paid advertising, uh, partnerships, affiliate marketing, and selling your own products and or services. So my hot sauce page, right? I obviously sell my hot sauce, but I could do a generic page on hot sauce and start selling hot sauce. I can also do paid advertising on a generic hot sauce you know, uh, page. I can also do partnerships. So these are the ways that creators make money. Online courses, right? So if you like to crochet, that's one of your passions, right? And you create a course on how to crochet a blanket, right? If you're into woodworking and you create an online course or you actually have uh, information on how to build a shed from your own, woodworking, things of that nature, whatever your passions are, if you can teach somebody how to do something or if you can solve a problem, you can make money in the creator economy. Now, you can be on camera as the face of your brand or whatever, and you would be considered an influencer. Or you can do a faceless Instagram theme page or a faceless YouTube channel or wherever where you're not even in there. Your voice isn't there and neither is your image. So these are the different type of things that you have to look for. So human's best friend, right? I just said that's an IG page with 275,000 followers. They are not, I don't know who owns that, right? So they are not in the videos or anything, but they're selling products and services based on that Instagram theme page. And here's the beauty of this content creation, guys, and being able to be uh, in the creator economy. If you have an Instagram theme page or a platform, you can also sell that. You can sell it and make crazy money because you've built a platform and people want access to your platform. So instead of paying people, so if you have a new product or service out, instead of going to these different Instagram pages and doing paid advertising, 
you know, to, in order to sell your product or service. What happens if you created your own platform and now you can sell your own product or service? This is crazy. There's a um, Instagram page. It's called at Daquan, D-A-Q-U-A-N. It, it was it was a meme page, M-E-M-E, a meme page. Warner Music paid $85 million for at Daquan, an Instagram page. And it was because that demographic was who Warner Music was trying to connect with. $85 million for an Instagram theme page. He built a platform. He's not on the page. All it was was memes. But he built a platform and somebody wanted to tap into that platform. So with this creator economy, guys, it's tons of ways that you can make money. You want to build a sustainable business model around your content. OK, that's how you build a platform with content. So be it a podcast, Instagram, uh, nameless, faceless, YouTube channel, whatever it is, you have to have the content. So like I said, you can use Upwork and Fiverr to get some creative viral content. You can do and scour, you know, the, the social media platforms, strip videos from TikTok repost them on Instagram. There are tons of ways to do this. But once again, the creator economy, if you are a creator, it's no better way to make money from something that you're passionate about. So if you like Porsches, right, you can create an Instagram theme page about Porsches and then you can sell some product or service to the people that that frequent your theme page. OK, so this is this is big business, guys. This is actually creating a media company and I talked about this in one of my podcasts about a year ago other people are, are trying to sell product when in reality you should be trying to create a media company even multiple media companies so once again it could be your YouTube channel the the unfortunate thing is that you're on somebody else's platform when you're on Instagram Twitter YouTube so God forbid something goes wrong and you get shut down your business is shut down you know, this podcast, nobody can shut this down because I'm, I'm on my own platform. So that's the beauty of this. But you have more reach with YouTube, YouTube shorts, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok and all of that. But you have to go and agree to their terms of service. And God forbid you get jammed up. I had a coaching client in the cannabis business and uh, selling hydroponics and soil and things of that nature. And unfortunately, one of her competitors uh, had all of his followers complain about her Instagram page and the page kept getting shut down. And in addition to that, she lost all her revenue because every time the page got shut down, it would come back up and then they would shut it down again. And literally that was her entire business. So I'm going to let you guys know this. Even if you're using a platform like Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, whatever, you always want to get email addresses and if you can, phone numbers for text communication. Because God forbid your page gets shut down, now your business is shut down. But if you have access and you have to start a new page or you have to you know, go a different way, you can still contact and connect your followers. Now, you're not going to get 100% flow over from Instagram followers to signing up for your email database or your text list, but at least you'll have something where you can continue that communication. That's what a platform is, guys. It's a communication. It's it's the ability to reach out to your audience and be able to communicate with them whatever way you decide, be it video, be it audio on a podcast, be it written if it's a newsletter. So that's the beauty, guys, of being a creator in this creator economy. There are tons of ways to make money based on your, your passions and your interests. And so I told you guys earlier, one of the biggest things for me, the word that I received for 2024 is consistency. So if you start building this platform now, just think where it's going to be by the end of 2024. How many followers, how many people that are in your audience that like what you're putting out, like your content and have an interest in it. And it could be something as silly, guys, as the smoothie guy that's putting out all of this content about smoothies and monetizing it. And you never see his face. The shade room, all types of different ideas. Here's a recommendation I'm going to give you a call to action. 
when you go on to Instagram or TikTok or wherever you are, start looking at these what I call theme pages, pages that aren't, you know, an influencer uh, driven page, not Kylie Jenner or whoever. So just theme pages. So it could be wealth. That's one, a big one. There's another one, like I said, the smoothie guy. Uh, uh, what is it? Millionaire mission or something like that. Just start looking at the number of followers, then click the link in the bio to see exactly how they're monetizing it. Okay. That's what, that's your homework right now. So that's on Instagram. Look on YouTube, Mr. Beast, yep, hundreds of millions of dollars a year because he created a YouTube channel. There are tons of different platforms out there that creators can use to monetize their passions and profit from them. So guys, don't sleep on this. I gave you the data. One of the things I like to do when I do my talks, I lay things out with facts first. Nobody can refute the facts. So the data that I gave you about the creator economy is facts. There's projections also to let you know where this landscape is going. So the creator economy is here. It's in its infancy. And if this is something that it sounds like you want to be a part of, start taking those steps. Now, before we get to this last uh, portion or segment of the show, let me give you my social media contact information and resource links. Everything I'm about to tell you guys is on the website, blackentrepreneurblueprint.com, blackentrepreneurblueprint.com. I mentioned at the top of the show, guys, newbebacademy.com, newbebacademy.com. That's where you want to be for the online courses. You have the live group coaching with me once a month, and you have collaboration with other like-minded BEB family members where you can cut deals, make partnerships, generate revenues from other like-minded entrepreneurs. Now, if you want to connect with me anything long, hit me on my email, jjones at blackentrepreneurblueprint.com, J-A-Y-J-O-N-E-S at blackentrepreneurblueprint.com. Facebook, Black Entrepreneur Blueprint. Twitter, jjones001, J-A-Y-J-O-N-E-S-001. Instagram, I got two IG accounts, family. The first one is jjones for real, J-A-Y-J-O-N-E-S, the number four, R-E-A-L. Second one is Black Entrepreneur Blueprint. LinkedIn, connect with me there, family. Go to LinkedIn, type in Black Entrepreneur Blueprint, J Jones. You'll find me there. Hit the subscribe and follow there. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, family. Black Entrepreneur Blueprint. Go to YouTube, type that in, hit the subscribe button. We have additional content on YouTube that is not on the show. And for all you first time listeners, the show drops every Monday morning on all your major podcast platforms and YouTube at 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So wherever you're listening to this or watching this, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you'll get notified when the new episodes come out. Also, utilize the website, guys. We have so much content, free content for entrepreneurs. Go to blackentrepreneurblueprint.com and hit the learn button. There's a drop down and we have all types of resources on strategy and mindset, scaling your business, e-commerce, everything you need to help elevate your entrepreneur IQ. Now, I say this each and every week, family, because it's true. We get more and more downloads because of you, the BEB family. I appreciate and love you guys so much. Please continue to spread the word about the podcast, the whole BEB ecosystem with the new BEB Academy, all the books, all the resources, all the courses. Because remember, it's not about me. It's not about you. It's about us. It's about building an economic power base in the worldwide black community by building and supporting black owned businesses. Love you guys. See you same time next week. Peace.